Hi love bug, welcome back to my channel. This is Priya, your Love Plus Manifestation Coach. And in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how to let in your soulmate. But first, I want to make you aware of my brand new free masterclass, the proven six step formula to manifest your epic love life from within that you can get instant access to right now by clicking the link below in the description box. Okay, let's now get back to the theme of this training, how to allow, how to let in your soulmate with ease. Well, where I want to begin today is by first shining some light on why most people are stuck when it comes to manifesting their soulmate into their experience. You see, from a very young age, we have been taught to believe that your soulmate is this one person that is out there for you, your twin flame, that you know there is this one person who is perfect, who was made for you. And so, you know, a lot of us have this belief that our soulmate is basically somebody outside of us, that our soulmate is another person. And here's the thing about that, it's a trap. When you believe that your soulmate is another person, that your soulmate is somebody outside of you, that your soulmate is this one person outside of you, you are going to be searching for your soulmate for a very long time. Because here's the thing, your soulmate being this one person is actually a human construct that we made up. In reality, every single person is your soulmate. Everybody is your soulmate because everybody is a reflection of you. Everybody is a reflection of your internal consciousness. Everybody is you pushed out. So every relationship that you have had that you've called into your experience, whether you know it was a good relationship or it was a bad relationship, all those people are your soulmate because they are a reflection of you. They were mirroring back to you what was going on energetically inside of you. So what this means is that your soulmate has nothing to do with somebody else. Your soulmate is not another person. And you know what? A lot of people are unaware of this. A lot of people don't know what I'm sharing with you here. And here's the truth of the matter. Your soulmate is not another person. Your soulmate is you mating with your soul. Let me repeat that. Your soulmate is you mating with your soul. Now, what do I mean about you mating with your soul? Simply put, your soulmate is the connection between you and your higher self, the relationship between you and your higher self, you and the universe, you and the divine. That is who your soulmate is. Because only when the relationship between you and your higher self clicks into place, can any other relationship in your life click into place? It begins with you. Do you have a healthy, loving, balanced, harmonious relationship with yourself? How do you treat yourself? Because once you become the greatest version of yourself, you will then call in and attract somebody who is also the greatest version of themselves. And therefore, you would have manifested a very loving relationship. So what this means when it comes down to it is this. Your soulmate is not another person, has nothing to do with anybody outside of you. Your soulmate is you. It's about the relationship that you have with yourself. And that's the thing that you need to focus on when it comes to calling in your dream partner and your dream relationship. I can tell you from my own journey that before being aware of what I'm sharing with you here today in this video, I was somebody who was searching for love. I really wanted to be in a relationship, like in my 20s. And really I was approaching it from the energy of, oh, I need to find my soulmate, I need to find that person. And what happened was I kept repeatedly attracting people who wouldn't treat me right and who wouldn't treat me well. And that's because I wasn't treating myself right. I wasn't treating myself well. I was looking for love in all the wrong places. I believed that once I found my soulmate, then I would experience love. And so I was in the energy of lack. What that meant was that energetically, I was implying to the universe, I'm not lovable and I don't have love in my life. And the universe was reflecting back to me what was going on internally. 
And so I just kept manifesting these relationships or these people into my experience who wouldn't treat me well, who wouldn't treat me with love. But in reality, these people were just a reflection of what was going on within me, inside of me, my internal state of consciousness. So, you know, a little exercise that I invite you to do here today is this, okay? Now that you understand that your soulmate is you and that everybody's a reflection of you and that if you wanna manifest some amazing, delicious relationships, that it's all about first cultivating a healthy relationship with yourself because everybody's a reflection of you, and that there isn't just this one person that's out there for you. There are thousands of people that are an exact representation of everything that you've been looking for in a relationship and in a partner. This is the exercise that I invite you to do today, okay? If I was to ask you right now, emotionally, what is it that you desire in your dream partner? Okay, emotionally. And let's say, for example, you know, you were to write down, I desire somebody who is loving, who is generous, who is kind who is trustworthy, then my question to you is this, are you those emotions that you just listed? Are you loving to yourself? Do you fully trust yourself? Are you kind to yourself or do you judge yourself and berate yourself? Are you generous to yourself or are you always um, harsh on yourself? Because here's the thing, you have to become what it is that you desire. You have to become what you desire. So if you desire somebody loving, somebody who's kind, generous, trustworthy, I'm talking about emotionally here, okay? Then you have to become that person because when you become that person, that's when you become a magnet for what you want, right? That's when you become the vibration of what you want. That's how you become an energetic match to what you want. So are you emotionally that person that you are seeking? Because if you're not, then you are blocking off your manifestation, right? It is law. It means you're not an energetic match to what you want. You are not being what you want. Therefore, it's invisible to you, right? You cannot call it into your experience. But once you make that shift and you begin to love yourself, trust yourself, you begin to be generous with yourself, once you become what it is that you are searching for in a partner, now you have become it, you are it, you become a magnet for it. And this is what will allow your dream partner, your dream relationship into your experience with ease, effortlessly. And I can tell you from my own journey that this was a thing that changed everything for me, okay? Once I stopped trying to change what was going on in my external reality in the 3D and instead I turned inwards and focused on shifting my consciousness, my vibration, my state of being in the knowing that everything is just a reflection of me, is a reflection of my state of consciousness and that once that clicks into place, everything else in my outer reality will reflect it back to me, will mirror it back to me. This is when I was able to manifest some amazing, delicious, loving relationships, which then led me to manifesting my husband. So it begins with you. You have to become the greatest version of yourself. You have to become what it is that you desire emotionally in your dream partner. When you do this, I promise you that your dream relationship will flow into your experience quicker than a blink of an eye. So focus on your vibration, focus on what is going on internally within you and drop your awareness and your attention on what is going on outside of there because what is going on outside of you is just a reflection of your internal state of being. So use it as a mirror to say, huh, you know what, this person was rude to me, this person was disrespectful. Well, where am I being disrespectful to myself? Where am I being rude to myself? And once you begin to shift that relationship that you have with yourself, so that you become the greatest version of yourself, so that you cultivate a healthy, loving, balanced relationship with yourself, watch every other single relationship that flows into your experience will be a reflection of who you are being, will be loving, will be high vibing, and will be um, delicious in nature. So my message from this video is this. Your soulmate is not another person. It's not somebody outside of you. Your soulmate is you mating with your soul. So number one, you first wanna acknowledge this. 
Number two, you then want to make a list of everything that you desire emotionally in your dream partner. And then you want to ask yourself, am I those things on that list? And if the answer is no, then you want to become those things that you wrote down on your list, right? You want to begin to practice being loving with yourself, generous, kind, respectful to yourself. Because once you do that, you will become a magnet for what you want. And this is how you allow your dream relationship and your dream partner into your experience. It begins with you mating with your soul, with you cultivating a healthy relationship with yourself. Thanks for watching this video on how to let in your soulmate. Give me a thumbs up if it resonated for you. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell to be notified every time I post new videos around how to manifest your epic love life. Catch you soon.